Hey everybody, welcome to Mentalist OAS. We are back with another review, and of course we are going to be looking at an old favourite, an oldie but goldie, which is of course, in my card clip, is the latest version of, of course, the Night Flight decks from a good old Steve Della. A uh, big, big fan of these, have been for ever since I've discovered them, um, and that's still to my mind the best easy speed reader deck you can get for your money uh yes quality price usability hit all ticked many many times i will try and put down my original reviews for the night flight deck because it hasn't changed that much now it does change a little bit i will have to admit steve is very good at um constantly evolving the deck but without changing it too much uh, which is always nice he's got a few other plans for some other stuff that's coming out very very soon um if you go to his web page which i believe is uh nightflightcards.com if not the link will be down below um he has a web page explains everything in full detail full transparency from the very beginning nothing is hidden from you there's no you must buy this and then you'll get the secret he literally gives you says look this is exactly how it works you know go you know do as you will which i really like and again there's also a facebook group as well where we all get together ideas anything new anything steve's thinking of bringing out for us or wants to change he listens what i love about steve he listens to his users and he acts on that information which is really really nice i suppose that is one of the joys of being an individual creator is that uh, you have complete control and if you're say part of a massive company you may not have that freedom uh, so again, it's, it's you know if you're doing it independently, you've got to pay for it yourself, do it yourself, which does cost money. Uh, for Steve, this is a labour of love. He doesn't really make any money off of these decks. Uh, I think he takes the money he does make, and then that's used for the next project. So whether it's cracker cards, new effect, little bits and pieces like that. So bless you, Steve. You know you, you've you've really helped the community out with these. Um, these literally you can buy, and within possibly even seconds, uh, you can be using these. No decoding, everything's in blatantly in your face. Also a word as well, this has now the second time passed the wife test. That is the wife trying to find the markings. I will admit this time she did find the little um, uh, red, red, uh, red black markings that are built into the card. So you can easily see whether the card is a red or a black card. Uh, she did spot that, but she had to have two, you know, she was really taking her time, uh, but she could not see the markings. And my wife is one of the most eagle eyed people out there. Uh, if there is a problem, if there is something there, she spots it like that. Little tiny spider crawling across the room. She spots it more than the cat does. So that's how good her eyesight is. Uh, so yeah, so she couldn't see on the back design what was going on. So um, I'll put the price down, all the stuff down below. I will recommend highly that you buy these in multiples. Uh, number one, that helps Steve out even more. Number two, it will give you some backup decks, which is always worth having. If you need some specialist cards, uh, he does do a gaff deck that accompanies goes along with the um, the pro deck. So yeah, the elite deck, because this is the elite deck. So this is the card based one. There's one called the pro deck, which I have reviewed, which is the plastic based or PVC based one. Um, PVC you see one brilliant for pubs restaurants bars if they get wet or dirty you can just wash them off with a little tiny bit of soap and some warm water not hot and you can literally wash your cards yeah and then they go back together maybe a tiny bit of fanning powder uh, but they, they spread really so um when you get the cards you will get a double backer uh, everybody's favorite uh, this is non-marks by the way uh, you'll then get these lovely large larger pipped design uh see if i can get this through uh, so as you can see, that's all the court cards there. I've put those into one. Uh, but when you go through the number cards, you can see they are very, very easy to see from the front and very easy to see from the back as well. Uh, so yeah, these have been designed for, you know, um, almost stage. You could probably have one of these on stage, hold it up, and I think most people would see that really clearly. For people like me who've got dodgy eyesight, nice and clear, beautiful to see, you know, everything is visual nicely done and you know, with the number cards all the spacing's done really well the ink's done beautifully um of course the most important thing which i know some of you will say yeah they smell good as well <laughs> the only playing card that smells good uh the court cards though on these even though they are very they haven't changed from the last review but they are still this beautiful um still falls within that um 
it is the classic court card design but these have been very slightly tweaked just to make them look a little bit more interesting still very visual um beautifully printed uh, each one does each court card does sometimes have a revelation built into it uh, but also they do hold different objects so again i think there could be something there that could be used and again it's the nice repeating process of you know they, they look like court cards but they had that very slight stylization which i think really makes them look a little bit more interesting but at the same time they still have a nod to the traditional uh, Jack's diamond, you know, Jack's king's queens. Uh, I think the king's quite awesome as well because he's face on. And again, you do have that lovely coloring. Now, do you won't notice there's actually five kings in this deck, and I'm going to show you what the other king has in just a moment. So, do excuse me for that. But as you can see, hopefully, guys. Now, the aces again, super large pips logo. Uh, there's a little, little bit of info there. Some of these cards do have some revelations built into it, uh, but your pips are nice and large and super visual, which I love. And of course, the jokers, uh, brilliantly done. I think it, you know you can definitely see it's a joker, and there is actually some work on these jokers as well, so you know which is which, which I think is really clever. So handy because one of them does have a revelation on, so you can tell which one's which. But the jokers look really good. Um, minimal classic nice design so now I know what you're going to be saying it's like so what about this other king well the other king has a very unusual very subtle secret which you uh, you know it's this may not show up on camera I'm really sorry this may not show up on camera but uh, the king has a very subtle back design <laughs> yeah he has now given you an extra king of hearts that has a green back so Again, the green against the red really shows up. So if you're thinking of some of the effects that require color changing back, you've got it there as well. And again, it is marked as well beautifully. There's no actual marking marking on this one, which is nice. So there, if you're the people to hold and examine this one, there's nothing actually to see, but even then you wouldn't still see it anyway because the way the markings are done. And again, a lovely one from Steve Della yet again. You know, he's tweaked it ever so slightly, but not too much, but it's a constant evolution. Uh, even the car box now, I think the same as on has the old five of diamonds on there. There's some revelations built into the car box. I think there's a magic square built into the barcode still. And again, you know, in the quality as usual speaks for itself. How he's able to produce a good set of cards at the price he does it as, I still do not know. But uh, again, you know, beautifully made deck of cards, perfect for the men's list, fantastic for the standard magician who maybe wants a little bit of a, I think uh, David over at Magic Orthodoxy, I believe one of the things he says, if he carries a deck of cards, it's always a marked deck because it's just that little extra thing. So I can go, oh look, five of hearts and straight to it as well. But also if the spectator makes a mistake, you can still clock it. And yeah, you know, it's just handy to know as they take a card, away you go. Uh, one of the cards does has a slightly different back design. I think it's the 10 of clubs. I forgot to mention it. Let me just go through 10 of clubs. It has a little thing that uh, Steve put into these cards a little while ago. Uh, it used to be a choice where you could have, um, no, it's the, must be the other one must be the it's one of one of the tens i know has a very special yeah sorry ten of spades i will get it right one day <laughs> preparation something like that. yeah the ten of spades actually has a unique marking on the back it used to be you used to get two of these now you just get the one and it's um a little bit hard to see it is shown on the diagram but i think if you guys can look there it's just a very subtle marking which means that if this is in the spread as you're going through you can easily find that card and you can do it from a distance as well because you once you see it you can't unsee it as well so yeah another one so there's some very useful here. like i say there's also a gaff deck available for this as well which is available from the same website uh he does does some other little cards some other little bits and pieces some very useful utility cards split cards stuff like that um if you're using this deck i would highly recommend grabbing a gaff deck i believe if memory does serve me correctly um there is actually an option to buy uh a small brick of these along with the gaff deck uh, i would highly recommend that because that will serve you well that will give you some extra cards and that for extra effects mentalism as well as magic of course and again these little fellas are oh, they just they just feel so good i have to admit the the stock on these this german stock is really really good but then stock's always been really good steve's been very good at choosing good quality long lasting and i say oh by the way these do outlast the bicycle decks by I think about two to one. I find that these last twice as long easily, even the paper stock lasts 
twice as long as a normal bicycle deck, uh, even with extensive shuffling, uh, fluffing, mixing, matching, throwing around. Yeah, I have put these for their paces and they have held up beautifully. Even my oldest deck of these, back from probably a couple of years ago, um, the only reason I've kept that deck is because it's still in really good condition. It is just starting to get a little bit clumpy, but I keep those as spares cards. So if I need an extra card or I damage a card in one of these, I can take one from there. And uh, even though there's a slight tiny design change, uh, it still works really, really well. In terms of handling, shuffling, farrowing, if you could do it, I can't do farrows, by the way. I have tried it. It does farrow, but not. I just haven't got the skills for doing that. But uh, for general card handling for the mentalist or the magician, or the mental magician, or the entertainer. Uh, yeah, they work really well. They're smooth, nice. They have that lovely smell to them as well. And uh, again, with Steve, he is constantly tweaking these and every batch is made very slightly better. So uh, Steve, thank you so much for sending these to me. These are always a joy and a pleasure to handle, to use, to experiment, and to just have basically fun with as well. Uh, if you're playing games of poker with your friends, I wouldn't recommend it, by the way. No, no, um, uh, don't cheat. You can do it for fun, but don't cheat, okay, guys? Because I think you will get found out with these ones. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to say, though, I'm really hoping, and I know all our Irish uh, mentalist magicians from Deceive Reality, O'Brien Magic, all those lovely guys, uh, I think a lot of those guys, uh, I think is it Daniel Johnson from Mind Effects, I think they're going to want the green ones, and i got a feeling you're going to have to produce a green deck. Uh, I think that's going to be cool because the green color is really, really nice. I like greens and blues anyway, uh, but I think for a green color, that looks beautiful. And especially when it contrasts against the red of the deck. I probably said that already. I just love that contrast. Uh, red Hot Mama, uh, the Chicago opener. You, you've, you've got a card there you can do. Special Revelation. Oh, just, just let your mind go crazy. So big thank you to Steve Della over at nightflightcards.com. Uh, link down below. Please go and support Steve. The more we can buy his decks, the more more stuff he can bring out to us. He has invisible decks. He has some packet effects. Cracker Kings is brilliant. Nice little one to walk around with. And uh, yeah, on that note, I'm going to say go to his site, buy some decks, and I'll catch you all on the next thing. And also as well, those decks will be available through Murphy's Magic as well. So you'll find you guys overseas will be able to get these as well without too much in the way of postage costs. That's one of the big things I have noticed is for these guys, posting stuff out at the moment is a complete pain in the rear. There's too much too much in the way of shipping charges are gone stupid at the moment. So I've, I know the fact that Steve is trying to find ways of getting this over to American websites, people like Murphy, so they can get into your store and you don't have to pay. You can only pay like your local PMP rather than international PMP and plus parcels go missing as well. So uh, don't worry, these are heading out there. So even you guys over in the good old US of A, other countries, Australia, Africa, wherever you come from, you'll probably find you'll be able to get a deck of these. But if you order a big, big bundle of them, you can probably get the shipping for free and uh, get lots of good cards, which believe me, a uh, few decks of these, you cannot go wrong. They have the Mentalist OAS seal of approval, double thumbs up. Okay guys, catch you later, have a good one, and I'll see you on the next review. Bye for now.